I'm gonna cry in a minute. I'm actually going to cry. This is taking way too long. Please, I'm running out of time and I'm like genuinely getting scared right now because I, I don't want to have to do this again, man. Please, I actually beg. Somebody, please, anybody get in one. I beg of you. And that doesn't count. I know it doesn't because it's two kill streaks. Yep. Mission accomplished. Good work. Oh my god, that counted? That counted. I'm free! Oh, thank god. Oh, I never have to use these again. That didn't count in the past. All right, yo guys, what's going on? It's Soul Rage, and welcome back to some Black Ops Cold War. So here for this video today on the next episode of Road to DM Ultra, I'm going to be talking about the launchers, both as Sigma and the RPG, and they are both completely horrible, just like the Thumper. It's pretty much going to be the exact same concept as my recent Thumper video, just going through all the camos and talking about exactly what I did to get them gold. Although I did leave one camo to be finished here, the Policia destroying three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game. Just kind of wanted to show you guys exactly what I was doing. And really, for the most part, you're going to end up completing a lot of these camos without even really noticing or really even trying to doing it very very naturally especially here for these first two camos being the spray and the stripe camos here for the spray camos all you got to do is just get 50 eliminations with the rpg here for the stripes you have to destroy 25 equipment score streaks or vehicles this one especially was very very easy to complete i would honestly say the most important perk to run on your class would just be engineer so you can see out those uh jammers and trophy systems and whatnot jammers and field mics especially if you're playing hardcore nuketown here for the classic camo when it comes to ransom i did talk about this in my thumper video because when i was recording that video they came out with the update that uh, actually reduced the amount of kills that you needed to get or at least it reduced it from getting three kill streaks down to two kill streaks with the rpg however even though they reduced the amount of kills and we thought that they were going to be doing a flak jacket rework for hardcore they didn't really do that so what you have to end up doing in hardcore is you're still preying on the fact that people aren't running flak jacket i think when it comes to splash damage like if you're not direct impacting them the splash damage is like three hits with flak jacket or again you could just make it very easy for yourself and melee people meleeing people worked out the best for me but i did have those lucky lobbies in between where some people weren't running flag jackets so a lot of this does come very naturally if you are in those lobbies although i will say it is definitely very very weird to be running around meleeing people in hardcore with an rpg but it does get it done though so now here for geometric i think they reduced the number on this as well because i could have swore it was 50 with a thumper when i first started doing this but now it's destroying 25 ground-based score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer now don't be like me and completely forget halfway through completing these challenges that vehicles also count because i was stressing myself out so much in hardcore core trying to destroy sentry guns and for some reason i was completely oblivious to the fact that i could have just gone into like 12v12 and destroyed tanks and whatnot too because obviously that counts but i just completely forgot so yeah obviously when it comes to the ground-based score streaks it is your sentry guns and rcxds i think that's really all the ground-based ones that i can think of now i will say though destroying vehicles is very very easy in this especially if you're just running the 12v12 playlist it takes like one rpg to any snowmobile and i think it destroys it instantly this was definitely one of the camo sets that came very very naturally again especially if you're playing 12v12. And I would say, without a doubt, the most annoying one is Flora. Getting Cherry Blossom having to destroy 25 aerial score streaks was the absolute worst with the RPG. And now, obviously, you have your things like your attack helicopters and your care packages, but people aren't really calling those in very often. I really, really wish there was an easy way for me to put this, but a lot of the time, you are going to have to end up shooting down UAVs. I mean, by all means, you don't have to, but it's just the most common aerial score streak that you see since everyone is running it. Now, obviously, again, you don't have to shoot down the UAVs if it's too annoying. You can just kind of wait for people to call in their attack helicopters and care packages but yeah for the most part you're gonna have to destroy rpgs and again i really wish there was an easy way i really wish there was an easy way for me to like describe on how to shoot down a uav with an rpg but honestly it's just pure luck sometimes you'll have your moments where the rpg will just fly straight at the uav and you hit it pretty quickly other times it'll like kind of swirl and miss it at the last second and it's very obnoxious this one was definitely the biggest pain in the ass because there was so many times on hardcore nuketown where i'm just sitting there in the back and the map going like 3 and 18 dying repeatedly just trying to shoot down uav so i mean it definitely helps your kd if you're trying to get into easier lobbies seriously though why bother reverse boosting when you can just try to get gold on your launchers again i would say without a doubt flora is easily the most annoying part of getting the rpg done but on the flip side on the sigma it's the absolute easiest Oh my god, it's finally done. Thankfully, we're never going to have to use them again here in just a little bit. And now again here for the science camos. Again, Policia destroying three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game ten times. This is the last one I wanted to do. But again, I just kind of wanted to do it live, show you guys exactly what I did. But again, for the most part, this comes very naturally if you're playing 12v12. This one between both of the launchers honestly came pretty naturally, especially with the Sigma, because all you got to do for that is just shoot down UAVs the entire game, and you'll get it done in like two to three games. And now this last camo here, the psychedelic challenges, this one also came pretty 
pretty naturally. Kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times. Just get multi-kills, double, triple, multi-kills, whatever. For a solid 99% of the time, I was playing hardcore Nuketown for this, and this came again pretty naturally because people are very, very close to each other. Hopefully every once in a while, you'll get some lobbies where people aren't running flak jackets, so it'll be very easy to kill a lot of people off an objective or just melee people back to back. Overall, though, completing a lot of these challenges weren't very hard. It's just very weird and obnoxious and time-consuming. <laughs> again, especially for Floor, destroying those was completely horrible. But um, over here on the Sigma, though, again, pretty much the exact same thing. It's very, very straightforward. Oh, actually, here on the Sigma, you have to destroy 50 equipment score streaks or vehicles. Well, I mean, then again, this one is a lot easier because you can actually lock on to a lot of stuff. Here again for the classic camos, the ransom gain, the two kill streaks. You just have to run around melee people on Nuketown and pray that no one's running flak jacket. Same thing here for the geometric. I just realized you have to destroy 50 ground based score streaks. So again, the sentry guns, the RCXDs, or again, vehicles. One thing that I wanted to show you guys, especially for completing Bloodline, this was actually the last thing I had to do to get my gold Sigma. And I realized that when I was shooting at a tank, if an enemy gets out and you still get that, uh, I can't remember the name of the metal off the top of my head. I think it's Breakdown. Ideally, though, you'll want to destroy a vehicle with an enemy in it and get the kill for it to count. But I realized if you get that Breakdown metal, it will count towards this. It actually kind of took me by surprise when I got it because I destroyed the tank and then, like, I had respawn and was running around and then I unlocked gold camo for it. So, again, though, for the most part, just run 12v12 and you'll get it very, very easily. And now here for Flora, again, destroying 50 aerial score streaks that just shoot down anything that comes up into the sky. This has got to be the easiest challenge in the game to do because all you're doing is just playing support. You can just sit in the back of the map, throw down an ammo box, and just shoot down every UAV, counter UAV, anything that comes up into the sky. And again, like I was saying earlier, for the Policia, this comes so easily, so naturally, because you just have to shoot down, for example, three UAVs in a single game. That's super easy. Or unless if you're playing a very long-lasting 12v12 game, the amount of UAVs that pop up, you just shoot those down very, very easily. And then once again, lastly here for Psychedelic, just getting the two or more kills rapidly, melee on Nuketown. Very easy. I think I just mentioned this a little bit ago, but uh, when it comes to the class here, aside obviously having the launcher on it, the only things that really matter are Engineer and Danger Close. Engineer makes it a lot easier to see the equipment and score streaks that are on the map, and Danger Close gives you an extra grenade, and it also gives you a couple extra launchers. If I'm not mistaken, I think the base amount of launchers that you would get is like three in total with the RPG and the Sigma, but I think you get five if you run Danger Close. So now that that's all out of the way, just going to jump into some 12 12 here, get this done because I am honestly so overusing these launchers. I mean, I'm a pretty natural support player for the most part, but still, man, like getting these done was so obnoxious. And this is exactly why you run Engineer. You see the trophy system, field mic, ammo box, another trophy system over there. It makes it so easy to spot things and destroy things, especially when it comes here to the ground based score streaks, destroying sentry guns. Also, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but when it comes to shooting down UAVs, it does only take one rocket, but for the counter UAVs, it takes two. So especially when using the RPG, don't bother shooting down counter UAVs because it's already a pain trying to hit it once. Dude, it's been over an hour and nobody is getting in any vehicles and it's definitely not happening here on Miami. One. Come on, guys. I just need two more people. It's Snowmobile, come this way, please. Is he coming this way? He is coming this way. Two. There we go. I just need one person on a snowmobile to come right at me, please. I'm so over this. Like, I, I'm so tired of having to worry about this with the launchers. Come here. Just make this easy for me. Please don't kill me. Just make this easy for me, dude. What are you doing? Please, just, just let it happen. Oh my god, one more. Dude, I'm gonna cry in a minute. I'm actually going to cry. This is taking way too long. Please, I'm running out of time and I'm like genuinely getting scared right now because I, I don't want to have to do this again, man. Please, I actually beg. Somebody, please, anybody get in one. I beg of you. And that doesn't count. I know it doesn't because it's two kill streaks. Yep. Mission accomplished. Good work. Oh my god, that counted? That counted. I'm free. Oh, thank God. Oh, I never have to use these again. That didn't count in the past. See, when working on my thumper, it didn't count that way. You had to destroy either three vehicles or three killstreaks. Now, okay, I guess you can do one or two, two or one, doesn't matter. I really didn't think it was going to work. I, I thought I was going to have to full send to this tank right here. Which, even if that didn't work, it would have worked right there anyway. So, you know what? It's fine. I'll take it. Oh, my God, I'm free. Thank you, dude. Oh, now I can actually have some fun with the rest of my grind, man. Because at this point in time, it's just running around red gunning. I mean, I've already got my pistols almost done and leveled up. My tack rifles are almost done. I feel like I'm kind of behind on everything. The game's been out for about a month and a half now, it seems. But uh, you know what? It's fine. We're going with it. There it is, man. The gold RPG. 
and the diamond RPG. Oh, Papa Bless. I'm finally free. It's over. The gold RPG. There we go, boys. Gold RPG. Golden Sigma. Actually, this Diamond RPG looks kind of nice. I'm not even gonna lie. Same here with the Diamond Sigma as well. I still really like how they have that uh, Black Ops 4 effect of uh, the reactive diamond. I mean, it doesn't change color, but you can kind of see it a little bit. Now, last year with Modern Warfare, I thought that was as bad as it got, but uh, this one was kind of annoying too. I really don't mean to bring up Modern Warfare because uh, that game honestly gives me PTSD, but at least for the ground streaks in that game, you can destroy like uh, Harriers and counter UAVs because they were low enough, it would count. That honestly took a lot longer than what I was hoping for. But anyways, though, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I have a feeling that especially the RPG has got to be the most obnoxious thing to get gold in this game, but we're finally done. I really hope that uh, this video helped you guys out, give you guys some advice. I still wanted to do this live for a video, at least for the last part, just because I wanted to show you guys the relief. But yeah, once again, though, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. really hope this helped in some sort of way. Feel free to also go ahead and join my Discord. That's linked down in the description below, so you guys never miss pings on when I post new videos here on YouTube, as well as when I go live on Twitch. Once again, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave like if you guys did, subscribe if you're new. It's been Soul Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.